Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman, and our topic for today is illustrating polygons for grade 7, quarter 3. So polygons comes from the Greek word, okay, poly, which means many, while gon, which means side. So if we will put together, polygon literally means many sides. Aside from that, polygon is a closed plane figures bounded by segments. So it has three or more non-collinear segments joined at their endpoints called sides. Also, it has three or more endpoints on their sides called vertices. And finally, it has three or more angles. So here is the diagram of our discussion. So we have here polygon. So polygon can be classified either convex polygon or non-convex polygon. On the other hand, convex polygon can be considered as regular polygon or irregular polygon. So to determine the difference between polygons, so let's start here. So whenever we say polygon, it is a closed plane figures bounded by segments. Okay. Also, it has three or more non-collinear segments joined at their endpoints called sides, while it has three or more endpoints on their sides called vertices. It has three or more angles. Here are our examples. We have here quadrilateral, pentagon, then we have also hexagon. On the other hand, if we say non-polygons, these are figures not bounded by segments, and they don't have at least three sides, three vertices, and three angles. Example, so here we have curves. Another example, this is, okay, this part is a curve. Also, this one has a curve. So it is not bounded by segment. On the other hand, this is not actually, okay, bounded by segment. Okay, so to give us more idea about polygon, so let's have ex exercise number one. So tell whether the figure is polygon or not a polygon. So let's have example number one. And the answer is, okay, not a polygon. Good. What about this one? All right, so this is actually a polygon. Next. All right, so this is also a polygon because all sides are bounded by segments. And finally, we have this one. So this is not a polygon because, okay, some sides are not or some part are not, okay, bounded by segments. So this is not a polygon. So let's move on to the parts of polygon. So let's consider, okay, the polygon P, L, A, I, N, T. So we have here <clears throat> the points P, L, A, I, N, T. So, these are what we call the vertices. Okay, so singular, vertex. Then, next one, we have actually the line segment, IN, as your okay, side. Next, we have also what we call the interior angle. So, example of the interior angle, so somewhat inside, okay, an angle inside the polygon. So, we call this one as interior angle. So, interior angle. Okay. Next. So, we have the line segment AP. So, this is a line segment that will connect two non-consecutive okay, vertices. So, again, so we call this one as the diagonal. Next one, we have the exterior angle. So, this is an angle okay, outside the polygon. So, this is your exterior angle. Aside from this, we have also some parts of a polygon. So, all the points, all the spaces inside the polygon is what you call interior, while the points outside, okay, the polygon is what you call exterior. So, to give more details on the parts of polygon, so let's have here the first one. So, vertex, so the definition is the intersection of two sides. So, Specifically, in our illustration on the right side, so we have the following, okay, vertices. We have P, L, A, I, and T. Next part, 
So we have the sides. So the definition here is a segment joining two consecutive vertices. So we have, okay, PL, line segment, segment PL, line segment LA, line segment AI, IN, NT, and TP. Also, if we have diagonal, this is a segment joining any two non-consecutive vertices. So example, so we have PN, PI, PA, LT, LN, LI, AT, AN, and IT. Notice that these are the line segments. Next, so we have the interior angles. So meaning to say are an angle inside the polygon at one of its vertices. So example here, we have angle P, angle L, angle A, angle I, angle N, and angle T as well. On the other side, we have exterior angle. So we have here an angle outside the polygon formed by one of its sides and the extension of an adjacent side. Specifically in our example, we have angle NTS. For our exercise, let's consider the illustration on the right side. So we will name the following. So if we will name the vertices, so we have here, okay, okay, points P, L, A, N. Next, for the sides, we have line segment P, L, line segment L, A, line segment A, N, and line segment N, P. For the diagonals, we have line segment L, N, and line segment AP. So, because if there's a line that will, or line segment that will connect the two non consecutive sides, so we can have here line segment LN as well as line segment AP. Next, the interior angles. So, if we will identify the interior angles of the given polygon, so we can have actually here, so we have angle P. Angle L, angle I, uh, A, and angle N. On the other side, if we say exterior angle, so we can have, okay, angle A and T. So let's move on to the classification of polygon. So the first classification is what we call convex polygon. It means that all interior angles measures less than 180 degrees, as well as all diagonals line entirely inside the polygon. Say, for instance, this is quadrilateral. If I will draw okay, a diagonal okay, that will connect uh, two non-consecutive uh, vertices, so we have here. Okay, another example is the pentagon. So if I'll draw okay, a diagonal, so it means all diagonals lie entirely inside the polygon. Okay. On the other hand, we have concave polygon. It means that at least one interior angle measures greater than 180 degrees. It means that not all diagonals lie entirely inside the polygon. So let's consider this example. So if I'll draw a poly okay, a diagonal, okay, say for instance, from this vertex to other vertex, so it means it is not entirely inside the polygon. On the other hand, Okay, if I'll draw a, okay, a diagonal here from this vertex to other vertex, it is actually lying outside the polygon. Okay, so for our exercise number three, so let's determine whether the polygon is a convex or concave. So number one we have here. So if I'll draw, okay, a diagonal here, so it means that, okay, the diagonal is, is outside the polygon. So it means it is concave. Another example. So we have here is actually a convex polygon, okay, because all the diagonals that I'll draw is inside the polygon. What about this one? Okay, so if I'll draw a diagonal here, okay, it means the diagonal is entirely outside the polygon. So it is a concave. Last one. So if I'll draw a diagonal from this point to this point, it means it is lying outside the polygon. So therefore, this Next is Next that we have is the names of polygons according to the number of sides. So if we have K here the triangles, polygon. so this is the illustration, and the number of sides is equal to 3. 
Next, we have quadrilateral. So, this is the illustration. So, we have four sides. Okay. For pentagon, it means that we have five sides. So, we have this illustration. Next one, we have hexagon. It means that we have six sides. And this is one of the illustrations. Okay, so next one, we have heptagon. So, it means that we have seven sides. Okay, octagon. We have also eight sides. Nonagon, it means that we have nine sides. And finally, we have actually decagon. So, it means that we have actually ten sides. On the other hand, if I have eleven sides, we call this one undecagon. If we have 12 sides, we call this one as dodecagon. And this is the illustration. However, if we have 13 or more, so generally we call that one as already as, okay, n. So we call this one as actually n gon. So that is the names of polygons according to the number of sides. Okay. Next one, so we have the regular polygons versus irregular polygons. So if we say that one, Regular polygons means all sides have the same length, all angles have the same measure. So example, we have equilateral triangle, and we have okay, regular pentagon, okay, and we have regular hexagon. On the other hand, if we say irregular polygons, meaning to say sides have different lengths, as well as angles have different measures. So example, we have here another one. So, okay, this angle is not the same as this, obviously. And another one, this angle is not the same as the rest. So that is the main difference between regular polygons and irregular polygons. So that ends our discussion on illustrating polygons. Again, so this is Teacher on Indigus Man. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.